I visited Vail for six days in order to attend a conference, and even though I was attending the conference, I was still able to explore, so I want to bring you guys along for the ride. My flight was very early, it left at like 6am, and I didn't get into Vail. This was the view from my hotel until after 1, and it was just a cloudy day, but it was just so beautiful. So I took the shuttle into Vail Village, and I really wanted to explore and see, like get to know the town so you can see it was a little bit dreary and at this point I was starving so I was very excited to kind of just explore and then quickly go grab an early dinner and so Vail the town itself there's a lot of like touristy places and shops that you can visit but then there's these cuter little shops as well like coffee shops and restaurants so that's what I kind of explored and it was just really fun it was nice walking around I definitely felt the altitude and it did take me a few days to get used to it so my first stop was to get a chai latte which I was really craving at this point because I've been up for a really long time and after that I found this cute little restaurant and I decided because my reservations for dinner weren't until a little bit later I decided to sit down and enjoy this nice little drink in this cute little restaurant it was so adorable I love cows and they had a lot of cow decorations and I had this thing that was kind of a take on the Moscow mule um, so you can see they had a lot of cute little decorations and then this was my drink too which was really really cute so it had the cow detailing and then there's also like this cow photo on the side and then these cows over here as well so I was in heaven and then I did some more exploring as I made my way to dinner Later on in the morning, I was able to do some exploring before some talks started in the afternoon. So I visited the kind of northern side of Vale Village, which is separated by this river. And again, I went to a coffee shop and just enjoyed a nice chai latte. And it was nice too, because the site is definitely more quiet. And so I found this nice little park bench that sat next to the river. And it is crazy. You don't realize how fast it's going until you're standing really close to it. Um, but it was just nice and relaxing being able to kind of just sit and enjoy the nature. I then plan to stop by the President Ford little park here and there is a little garden area that was I guess uh, Betty Ford's like little project here so I did some exploring and it was really cool too because they talk about the ecosystem of uh, Vale, the mountainous area, the plants that are all part of there so it was really cute it is free too you can make a donation um, but yeah I just walked around and enjoyed all of the plants.
Towards the end of my trip, I started to get acclimatized to the pressure, so I would wake up in the morning because I was still on Eastern time, and I decided to walk the two miles into town to treat myself for a little breakfast and a tea. So my hotel is right along this path here, and it leads straight into Vale Village, so I just would take it down, enjoy my breakfast, and walk the two-ish miles back, and it was like a really good uh, exercise. It was very beautiful, and it was just a really good day to spend my mornings especially since a lot of the towards the last half of the conference a lot of the talks and what I was attending wasn't until the afternoon and I ran into stumbled upon this dog show but it was definitely a beautiful trip I'm not a skier but I highly recommend visiting Vail it is very very beautiful